So here's the melon patch. It's got netting and chicken wire around it. We've got a few watermelons came out of there. This is where the cantaloupes came from the other day. A mobile coop, chicken coop that I'm not using right now needs some repairs and work. Compost area, three, two big compost piles and one in the making. This is one of the squash gardens. So there's a lot of squash in here and a few dahlias. So I don't know for sure how many squash plants are actually in there. I couldn't tell you. And down at the end, down there, you can maybe see there were some uh, watermelon plants in there. We got a few melons out of that. This is the pathway up to the big chicken house and some hoop houses. This is the new garden that I made last winter with the um, compost chickens. Big acorn squash vine that volunteered and I see a little Jack B. Nimble pumpkin hanging out there too. Okay, green beans here on this side. Beets and some leeks in the middle and more beans on the other side. Here along this side of the pathway are some locust seedlings, an ash tree, mugwort, wild asters, nankin cherries, jimson weed, also known as datura. On this side of the pathway, marigolds and zinnias, and uh, another nankin cherry, a little crepe myrtle up there, some live oak seedlings in the back. There's some catnip. Right here along this side of the pathway are some, some weeds obviously, but also some nice culinary sage and some calendula flowers. That's the, all along this hoop house. This hoop house has some big tomatoes in it, which is a whole nother story. They haven't done well this year. Um, basil and some green onions in there. On this side of the pathway, those are Mount Lemon marigolds, a, a perennial marigold native to Arizona, Mount Lemon, just outside of Tucson, waiting for those to bloom. Indian tobacco tree, which is getting big. We've got a few flowers and things in here and another ash tree. Then that guy is the big mulberry tree that we grew from seed. It's only about six years old from seed. Started in a pot. Some Santalina. That's some alfalfa growing around the mulberry. We have some yarrow. This is a pretty nice little herb. I forget all the things it does as an herb. I'd have to look them back up. There's some tansy, which is just coming up to bloom. Tansy is supposed to repel insects like ants and flies, so we'll see how well it works. More datura. A few sunflowers. The squirrels got most of them. And then this big tree is a red locust tree that I planted as a sapling a couple of years ago. On this side, we have a moringa tree that I thought I killed when I planted it, lost all the roots. And in with it is a honey locust, a thornless honey locust. So that will be growing up. We just planted these a couple months ago. There's some lemon balm, a little yellow rose, and um, a little rose geranium hanging on for dear life there. It wasn't in good shape when I planted it. These are empty kennels for chickens. I'm not using those. There's um, the curly parsley. Some more tansy hiding in there as a fig. Some K 
catnip and mugwort, some more basil, a couple kinds, lemon basil and Thai basil, some more tansy, another fig tree, Spanish lavender, flat parsley, and then there's some um, oregano, and next to the fence is some rosemary and some volunteer tomatoes. And this, this is a tombstone rose that I 